What's up guys, this is Captain Tyler with Real Floridian Fishing. Welcome to another episode. We've got a beautiful morning right now. It's about 6.35 a.m. Cloudy. Got my buddy Dylan with us today and his family. And uh, we got a big day planned. There's been a lot of Wahoo caught recently, so we're gonna go out and do a little Wahoo trolling with some planers. I'm gonna show you a little something about how to run the planers. We got Captain Chris back here. The planer master. This guy probably, probably caught over 100 wahoo last year. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do some planer trolling just for about an hour, see what's going on. And then if the ocean looks right, we're gonna head out for the swordfish. We know we got our two buddies here. Thing one and thing two, the swordfish slayers. So yeah, we will, uh, we'll see you out there on the water. Alright guys, we spent about spent about 45 minutes trying to uh, troll up some wahoo. Had one bite and he missed it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and reel these baits in. I'll let it all bunch up on one side. And we're gonna head out to the sore grounds. guys so uh trying something new out here i don't think anyone's done this before it might be a bad idea but a lot of swordfish pull hook so i'm sticking a treble hook in the bait in the back of the bait so it won't affect the swimming um, that way if he takes it down his throat we'll just have another layer of of uh hook in him we'll see how it works snotty weather out today we got beat up a little bit coming out as you can see we got a uh, wind straight out of the north and what happens is uh, the current is going north and the winds out of the north so they don't like to go against each other that's mother nature versus mother nature so it gets a little snotty but uh, we're toughed it out and we got bit so we're tied on this fish he's at 600 foot right now we're at a little bit of a stalemate you don't want to come up that's okay. It's a big animal. He's gonna let him do his thing, and um, eventually we'll get him up. Hopefully. Dude, that was a big one, man. <laughs> Guys, there's a big creature on the end of that line. A big one. Dude, the first big fish I'm ever about to even see in person. This is exciting, man. How deep is he? 420 right now. Yeah, first swordfish, huh? First swordfish. Hi right, guys, he's down to 500, baby. He's down to 500. Whoa! How close did we get him? 300? 350. Down to 700, guys. So we had him, what, within 300? We got him to 350, guys, and he's all the way back down to 700. He definitely knows he's hooked now. I'm not happy. <laughs> Let's go! You know what? I feel pretty great right, for someone who yeah. didn't sleep awake yeah. last night. Yeah. I think I'll need a fair. Plan. Alright. It's a sword. It's a sword. It's a sword. Okay. It's a sword. Let's go, boy. He's still hooked. He's still hooked. Alright. I think you I hit him. him. I, I stuck him. You I hit him. him. I stuck him. Get over here. Nice shot. You're right, right here, Dylan. Right here, right here. Good, but, uh, hit him, buddy. Atta boy. Yeah. Come on. Come on. We got him, buddy. We got him. We got him. We got him. All right, guys. We're going to bring him in the boat. 
Dude, he's lassoed. Yeah. Dylan, look at this. He's not even hooked. Guys, he's not even hooked. He's la the fish is lassoed. Look at this. Look at this. He's not even hooked, guys. Oh wow. He's literally lassoed. Look. The hook That's crazy. out. It's gone. Oh, it's literally wrapped around him. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Hooks out. Uh, hey, sick harpoon. All right, yeah, I stuck him from down deep, dude. He's still twitching. Is he alive? Go. Yeah, he's oh, nice, nice. We got one. We got one, guys. Sweet. Let's go. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'll roll back about up. It. I'll roll back up. You guys want to do your pictures and stuff, and then I'll, I'll yeah. just sit here. And... Yeah, let's get some pictures. Get them. Up. It's just water. It's just water. It's, it's just, just, just red water. Hold them out toward me, guys. Hold Alrighty guys, so we just reset our baits again. Got the buoy out there. I don't know if you can see the flag, but uh, been a pretty great morning so far. We started out Wahoo trolling, no bites. Got out here pretty snotty, but um, put that nice little sword in the boat. Not a monster by any means. Maybe about a 70 pound fish. Um, definitely happy to have him. Definite keeper. And, uh, yeah, one for one today. When you're sword fishing, one for one is a great ratio. So, uh, yeah, we reset, got the baits back out. We're gonna see what happens. Usually we'd like to set a mahi spread out. There's been a lot of mahi around, as you've seen in our, our last video. Mahis will come right up to the boat out here. We'll put out some baits, the troll, like kind of swimming back there, some squids or something. But uh, the way the wind is today, we're not able to because the wind is out of the north and the current is, uh, comes from the south so we're not able to pull those mahi baits but uh, anyways got a fish in the boat we're stoked anything else is icing on the cake so we're gonna see what happens Let's go! Woo! All right, we are hooked up on the buoy. Buoy slack, baby! Come on, baby, get tight. Let's go! Let's go! Okay. Alright guys, we're hooked up on fish number two. Buoy slacka. So uh, if you don't understand the hype behind that, we got that buoy line out, we got this tip rod. The first fish was on the tip, we saw the bite, Chris saw the bite, we got him hooked up. And then, how long were we fishing those baits for? 20 minutes? 30 minutes? And uh, Chris noticed that the buoy was completely slack on its side, so we got that buoy. Here's the buoy. So when the lead is holding that buoy down, it should be like this. So this fish got hooked, got mad, swam up, and then the buoy lays on its side because it doesn't have the lead pulling it down. And uh, that's why we're hyped up because there's no other reason for that that flag to be floating because the 12 pound lead doesn't make itself go upwards unless there's a big fish swimming it up. So, we're hyped, we're hooked up. Hopefully we can get this thing in the boat. No need to not play it safe. All right guys, we got him. He's 300 feet out. He's shaking his head, then he's starting to realize something's wrong. I don't think he knew what was going on yet. He's starting to get a little pissed. Coming in slowly but surely, three. 335, 333, 330. He's coming up. We're doing this today, we got it. We asked him what to do. Chris, where's he at? Straight down. Straight down. 170. Where's he at? Right, right, right under the right. boat. Nine. I'm gonna have a shot on him in a second. Oh, oh, there he is. Watch out, watch out. He's not done. Yeah, Viv! Yes, 
That's a big fish. That's a big fish, boys. Don't bend the gap. Don't bend the gap. Be careful, Chris. My pissed me off. He's a unicorn. <laughs> I think he just went cross-eyed. I had to push it in there hard. There goes the knife. Oh. You ready? You ready? Yeah. The GoPro does it justice. Nice. You want to go lay down there with him for a second? That way. It's bigger than you are, brother. Hey, lift it up. That's a nice fish, guys. All right, that was an epic battle. That jump was insane. I think I threw the poon like six times. <laughs> I poked him once. He got pissed and ripped it back down. All, all of us were on edge of scary as <laughs> But uh, <laughs> whoo! We got him in the boat. Wow! Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Swordfish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your life. No. <laughs> I think we're good to go. Dude, he was hooked in the bill. That yeah, look how easy that hook came out, dude. Oh man. He could on that jump he could have shaken that hook. Dude, oh yeah. What a fish, guys. That is a monster. Wow. That's a nice fish. We haul Maybe not a monster, but can weigh it if you want. Let's go weigh this fish. Let's get this fish cleaned up and get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here, baby. Two for two today, guys. Two for two. Wow. <laughs> it must be because it's y'all's first time. It's got to be. It's got to be. Guys, like I said, I'm with my buddy Dylan. He plays beach volleyball with me and his, his brother and father. And uh, this is his first time saltwater fishing on a boat. <laughs> Imagine that. Two for two on swords, first time fishing on salt water real authority and charters baby we'll put you on them ready what's going on guys so you see the lines in this fish right here how you can see the wrinkles in his skin that's what you get when you get a fish that's been migrating that is traveling long distances riding in the stream and it's pretty cool just to feel it's crazy there's a barrel. It's that barrel of whole fish. There's definitely mahi here, guys. They're gonna come up if we a little bit. 100% mahi on that barrel. Hey, you wanna toss this one outside? Where's the barrel? This one up front. Grab blue is one to the circle. Oh, mahi, 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 mahi. Real, real, real. All right, he's gonna eat somebody's. Right there, right there. Leave it, leave it. He got you. Got him. You got him. Hey, let, let him, let him run, let him run. We got mahi, we got swordfish. So 
we got our first fish in one of the kill boxes, but that thing, my boat's 10 feet wide, just so you guys get an idea. That fish is about 11 to 12 feet long, but uh, we don't got any room for him in the, in the kill box, so we're just gonna cover him up with a kill bag, maybe put some ice on him. Hold on. Getting a little snotty out here. We need to get the heck out of here. The dot 199 200 yeah baby yeah i called that Woo. Well, what i guess 205 what'd you guess chris 196 who guessed 200 Something. me you guessed 200 yes, sir. wow guys that's what i'm saying what yeah just yeah, uh do whatever you want i need to cut him yeah cut him and then we'll try and get as much of the belly as we can why is it too? Oh, he is a pumpkin, dude. Yeah. No way. He's a pumpkin. Nice. Yeah, baby. All right, guys, we got the harpoon right here. Come look. Come look in his gut. All the way through him. Stuck deep into his gut cavity. Oh. Jesus Christ. He wasn't coming off of there. Wait, don't go anywhere with that. Let's go. All right, guys, so we had a little surprise here with this big, beautiful swordfish. I don't know if you can tell the, the pink hue to the meat. We call this a pumpkin sword. Um, it tastes a lot better. They're more rich in fats, and they get this color in their meat because of the shrimp down at the bottom of the ocean that they're eating. And uh, that's how they get that orange coloration in their meat, or at least that's what I was told. But uh, yeah. That's a prize, that's our first one, so pretty special day. Look at that meat right there, my goodness. Oh, Jack, so about to feast. Ready? All right, buddy. So long. Look at the pelicans, look at the pelicans. Hey, okay, man, come on, man, we wanted to bite on that. There you go, buddy. Oh, you waited too long, you can't catch. Thank <laughs> you. 